Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about natural selection. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So Darwin's concept of evolution is natural selection. The Darwinian theory of evolution explains that evolution is the result of natural selection. The adaptive ability of organisms is the one which helps organisms in evolution through natural selection. This is very simple. Suppose this year the temperature goes down to minus 20 degrees Celsius suddenly. Now some of us can bear the temperature, some of us cannot. Individuals who survive are fittest and will be definitely selected by nature. That is called natural selection. And these individuals will go through the evolution, right? So this is the simplest explanation of Darwin's theory of natural selection. Now, during his journey, Darwin went to Galapagos Islands. There he observed an amazing diversity of creatures. Of particular interest, small black birds, later called Darwin's finches, amazed him. Okay. So he realized that there were many varieties of finches in the same island. All the varieties evolved on the island itself. Originally, there were some seed-eating birds. But at a certain point of time, they faced food scarcity. At that time, many other forms with altered beaks arose. This enabled certain birds to become insectivorous and some remained vegetarian as well. So they flew to other parts of the islands to have insects or plants and enjoyed their foods. This process of evolution of different species in a given geographical area starting from a point and radiating to other areas of habitats is called the adaptive radiation. We will see some salient features of Darwin's natural selection. First, overproduction occurs due to the production of more individuals than which can live. Suppose in a particular habitat, only 50 birds can survive. Now they become more than 50. That creates problem. Second, competition is caused due to the demand by individuals for limited environmental resources. Whenever more than 50 birds arise, they start struggling for food. Since food is limited to only 50 birds, they will compete. Third, variation is the occurrence of an entity in more than one different form. If all birds choose a same food source, it may create problem. But if they have variation and they prefer different food sources, it will solve the problem. Fourth, adaptation is the result of inherited traits that increases the chance of survival. Uh, so, once birds are adapted to various food sources, they will survive. Fifth, natural selection is the evolutionary theory that states that the populations of evolving species adapt to the changing environment. The birds which survived will be selected by nature. Sixth, formation of new species due to physiological, geographic, anatomical or behavioral factors is known as speciation. So slowly birds with different beaks who have different food choices will become different species 
although they all have originated from a single seed eating creature. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.